Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, a Portuguese monster. In Portugal, someone seems to have captured what appears to be a terrible monster on video. The beast can be seen in a short clip, just a few seconds long, skulking around in the desert before hiding behind a bush and vanishing. The monster looks oddly human, except that it has long and lanky limbs and doesn't seem to be the right color. Its skin is all pink and scabby looking. It could be a chupacabra, as some have speculated. Though historically, the chupacabra has been reportedly spotted in Texas, Mexico, Florida, and Puerto Rico. Until this footage, there have been no known reports of chupacabras roaming around in Portugal. While it is uncertain if the beast in the clip is the goat sucker monster known for drinking the blood of livestock, if not a chupacabra, some have suggested it could be a type of desert Bigfoot or Sasquatch. To be honest, if the creature is a Sasquatch, it looks to have suffered a serious sunburn. There is just something about the creature in the clip that doesn't look right. Sadly, no one knows what this thing is. All we know is that video footage of this mysterious monster has spread across the internet and is on dozens and dozens of websites, accompanied by plenty of bizarre theories. While it may be a hoax, all we can do is speculate. What does the creature look like to you? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. The Loch Ness Monster's Cousin If you've never heard of the Morag Monster, you're seriously missing out. This beast is the smaller, lesser-known cousin of the Loch Ness Monster and is every bit as mysterious as its larger, well-known brethren. It lives just a few miles away from Loch Ness in Loch Morar, the deepest freshwater body of water anywhere in Britain. It's in the Lochaber area of the Highlands, about as rural in Scotland as you can possibly get. There are some pretty big differences between the cousins, Nessie and the Morag Monster. According to folklore expert Alexander Carmichael, the Morag monster has been spotted in a lot of different forms. Some people have seen the monster as a type of mermaid with flowing hair, while others have seen more of a grim reaper figure. Either way, the Morag monster isn't exactly a giant reptile like its friend over in Loch Ness. It's instead a harbinger of doom, as it's almost always seen just before someone dies or drowns. The biggest major sighting was in 1898 when Aeneas MacDonald died and a large group of witnesses saw the monster appear from the loch in a black heap like a big, slimy, waterlogged monster without a face. Some have seen the beast as half human and half fish, but it's evil in every single case. Maybe the fact that it's such a terrible thing has made people a little more skeptical of searching for it than they are searching for Nessie, who's got an almost charming reputation in comparison. Number 8. The Moon-Eyed People The Moon-Eyed People, as strange as it sounds, were supposedly a race of very small woodland people who lived near what is now Murphy, North Carolina. These people had pale skin, bearded faces, very blue eyes, and they only came out at night. It's hard to say if they were humans or creatures, but the Cherokees swear they were real, living in the Appalachian Mountains. In fact, some even say that the Moon-Eyed People are still around today though they've gone underground and are very rarely seen. There are all kinds of stories about the Cherokee interacting with the Moon-Eyed people, including a fight that took place in Tennessee that pushed them further north into West Virginia. And while it's easy to dismiss this as nothing but another legend, there could be some real truth to it. The Cherokee very well may have witnessed the Moon-Eyed people. Though they may not have been monsters, they may have simply been a group of white settlers from Europe who made it to North America before anyone else. The Cherokee may have seen their white skin and blue eyes and mistaken them for a race of human-like monsters. And yes, there is actually proof of this. A 16th century manuscript written by a Welshman named Humphrey Lloyd spoke of an Atlantic sailing in the year 1171. A Welshman named Prince Maddock may have actually landed in what is now Alabama. The manuscript from the 16th century says that the prince and his crew ventured up a river, what would have been the Alabama River, and were never seen again. It was around this same time that the Cherokee began witnessing moon-eyed people, what they thought were bizarre, otherworldly monsters. But really, they may have just been Welshmen. What do you think? Were the Cherokee legends based on early interactions with light-eyed Europeans? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. Petroglyph Sea Monsters In the Canadian province of Nova Scotia, a group of Native Americans known as the Mi'kmaq 
carved petroglyphs on the sides of rocks hundreds of years ago. These petroglyphs show what appear to be sea serpents. These monsters have no fins, no limbs, and they are much larger than a canoe. Zoologist Andrew Hebda says the petroglyphs were made to record the first sightings of sea monsters in Nova Scotia. Whether you believe it or not, there is no arguing that people have been witnessing serpent-like beasts in the waters around this Atlantic province for the last several hundred years. Even as recently as 2003, lobster fisherman Wallace Cartwright said in a radio interview that he witnessed a sea serpent while checking his traps near the Point Oconee Lighthouse. At first, he thought there was a really big log floating across the water, but then he realized the log had a head attached to it and that the head was coming out of the water. He estimated the creature to be at least 24 feet long, its head like that of a sea turtle, but its body like a giant snake. He estimated its girth as being about the size of a five-gallon bucket. Nobody knows exactly what this creature could be, but it seems possible that it is a very real sea serpent that lives off the coast of Nova Scotia. The people who live in the region, as far back as the indigenous natives, have been seeing it for centuries, and sightings are still coming in today. Number 6. Arizona Bigfoot Arizona has its very own version of Bigfoot, and it's called the Mogollon Monster. Sightings of the monster have been reported in Arizona as far back as 1903. An article from the early 1900s in the Arizona Republican spoke of a sighting near the Grand Canyon in which someone witnessed the cryptid, a huge beast that looked like a mix between a man and a monkey roaming through the desert. There have been plenty of sightings of the monster through the years. They all agree on a few specifics. They describe the creature as at least seven feet tall, has bright red eyes, and it's covered in either long black or black reddish hair. One of the weirdest features of Arizona's Bigfoot is that it seems to give off a strong and very terrible odor. People who have gotten too close to the thing say it stinks like dead fish, like the musk of a snapping turtle, and like a skunk with a particularly intense smell. People also say the Mogollon monster is nocturnal, and that it can turn violent when provoked, and it makes strange whistling sounds to freak out people camping at night. But despite all the reports, all the sightings, and all the extremely detailed descriptions, no one has ever obtained physical proof of the monster's existence, or even managed to snap a photograph of it. Do you think the Arizona Bigfoot exists? Could it be related to the Sasquatch? Let me know your thoughts in the comments! And now for number 5, but first want to give a big shout out to Mecca Ortiz and NV. Thanks so much for watching! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 5. Panama Beach Monster If you've been paying attention to the bizarre monster sightings of 2021, you've probably seen the weird creature that washed up on a beach in Panama. The video of the creature surfaced in September of 2021, getting over 25 million views immediately. The video has circulated on social media, with everyone trying to figure out what the weird creature was. Some people guessed it could have been a mermaid, an alien, or an unknown creature from the depths of the ocean that somehow ended up washed up on the shore. All these months later, it looks like we finally discovered the truth behind the speculation as to what exactly this odd creature found and filmed on the beach really was. Dr. Jessica Mayhew, a specialist in primate behavior at Central Washington University, says she knows exactly what the Panama monster was. She claims it was nothing but a howler monkey, a highly decomposed howler monkey, but a monkey nonetheless. She noted its thick neck, its high external ears, the shape of its head, and even its opposable toes. She even figured out the monkey was probably a male because of its large canine teeth. The reason it looked like such a horrible monster was just because of its decomposing tissue. This happens when any dead land animal is submerged in water for too long. Do you think the dead howler monkey looked like some kind of sea monster? Or did you realize right away what it was? Let me know in the comments below! Number 4. Dogman Sightings of Dogman go back centuries in Pennsylvania. Dogman has been described as a werewolf-type creature that walks on its hind legs. It's as tall as a man, but has the head of a wolf. What's really interesting about this mysterious monster is that it's said to be significantly more aggressive than other creatures like it, meaning cryptids like Bigfoot and the Sasquatch. 
It's also normally spotted near freshly killed animals, such as deer and rabbits. Any human that gets near it, or its victim, ends up being run off by the growling, snarling wolf monster. But just how much truth is there to these sightings? It's honestly quite hard to say. We know that modern reports of dogman sightings go back as far as 1794. Excerpts from the journal of a French fur trader described witnessing what they called loup garou, French for werewolf, and in the legends of the Algonquin, they too speak of similar creatures living throughout Pennsylvania and Michigan. There is no doubt that people believe they have seen something that looks like a wolf-human hybrid in these parts, but in reality, they were probably just coming face to face with the largest wolves they had ever seen. If you had just come from France and had never seen a huge North American wolf before, alone in the woods in a strange new place, you might think it was a werewolf too. Number three, Flathead Lake Monster. People have been spotting the Flathead Lake Monster for at least 129 years. What is it? A creature that is said to lurk beneath the waters of Flathead Lake in northwestern Montana. Unsurprisingly, it looks a lot like other lake monsters, a giant serpent that occasionally slips its huge head out of the water before going back under and vanishing. Most Montana natives have heard of the creature before, but only a few have actually had experiences with it. One of these people is local fisherman Keenan Applehands. He claims he witnessed a massive serpent on his fish finder, but wasn't actually able to see it with his own eyes. Then there's Lainey Hansel, a former biologist with Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. He started recording sightings in 1993 and continued to keep track for 30 years. But what's really bizarre is that he worked on the lake day and night for three decades and never actually saw the thing himself. Yet he logged dozens of sightings from tourists and fishermen alike who claimed they saw the monster. The reports vary on how big this thing is. Some say 30 feet, some say 40. Most agree it has steely black eyes and undulates under the water like a massive anaconda. The first sighting was allegedly in 1889 when a steamboat full of passengers saw the serpent slithering through the water. And since then, there have been at least 109 relatively reliable documented sightings. Number two, Organism 46B. Organism 46B allegedly attacked a Russian scientific team near their Antarctic outpost of Vostok Station. But before we go any further, keep in mind that some say the story you're about to hear was completely made up because no evidence of it has ever been uncovered. The story actually only comes from a few vague sources, which means it either happened and was covered up, or it was just created as a piece of fiction. In any case, Organism 46b was allegedly encountered by Russian scientists in February of 2012, after three decades of drilling through the ice at Vostok Station. When they finally broke through the ice using modern technology, the creature, described as an enormous octopus, attacked. It shot venomous ink at them, strangled them with its tentacles, and killed several scientists before the crew was able to get the beast locked in a tank. The surviving members of the team then brought the monster to the surface, where Russian officials seized it and covered the story up. The Russian government denies that any such incident ever occurred, naturally. And today we have no idea what happened to the organism. We don't even know if it ever truly existed. What do you think? Do you think this giant octopus was real or it was covered up by Russian officials? Maybe fiction? Let me know in the comments below. Number one, Nessie in 4K. The Loch Ness Monster has been spotted yet again, this time in 4K high definition video. A man named Richard Mavor spotted the monster this time, though it was a total accident. Richard didn't even realize the great Scottish beast was in his footage until he uploaded the video onto his YouTube channel. It was his viewers that pointed it out. Halfway through his drone footage of the loch, Nessie can be seen swimming just beside the beach. And to be quite honest, there is really no mistaking the shape of the monster. It appears just as Nessie has been described numerous times over. Sadly, the creature is only in the footage for a few seconds before it goes back underwater. And even though this seems to be a legit recording, it's still not definitive proof that the Loch Ness Monster really exists. The first sighting of Nessie in modern days was 80 years ago, in 1933. Since then, there have been over 1,000 recorded sightings. This is the first major one done in 4K, and with a drone! 
What's your favorite monster or mysterious creature sighting story? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and come back soon for more amazing videos. See you next time. Bye.